How does it sound to broadcast your bungee jump on YouTube or live stream a gameplay from Android device? Sounds great because each one of us has some skills that we may want to show to the world. Hello friends, this is your host Harish Bali from Technofair.com. One of my friends who is a travel guide asked me to make a video on how to go live on YouTube from Android device and here I am. Let's first see what's in it for gamers. Download YouTube Gaming from Play Store. I have already installed it on my device. You will need to log in with your Google account. You will see this home screen. To enter stream, tap on this live stream option from the top. There are two options record and go live. So you may choose a HD or a 480p. Now there are various apps. So we have got current stream. Let's put that. Choose a title and description. Share the streaming link through social media or through an email by going into other apps. YouTube gaming will start. Start now. You can't set a gaming to private. Event is set to public by default. So let's start. Tap to stream. It's connecting to YouTube. 3, 2, 1 and here we are live. Quick start. Now anyone who goes to my channel can watch me play game live. That's how it goes. And this is my front camera. Currently it's recording this particular video so you can't see this. When I'm playing game live, a colleague of mine can go to creator studio on the YouTube channel and from the left log into live streaming. And before that under stream now, this guy can notice the live stream session and the way game is being played. Not just that, if you scroll down and no you will notice the title and the description and the category and the event is set to public. As a moderator, if I put a comment here, hey guys, come on, what are you waiting for? So all the people watching the game will be able to see these comments and participate in the discussion or show how are they enjoying the game. One can also look at the analytics, how many people are watching the game and once the game stops, this video in particular will move into video manager. To stop stream, tap here and it's showing various options. You can mute and unmute camera mic pause and finally stop the stream that's it about using youtube gaming if you run an enterprise and want to showcase your products services or back office to customers in my opinion there's nothing better than youtube live trust me guys it's not only for corporates if you have got some kind of a skill or talent youtube provides the platform all that you need to go live on youtube is a tripod a smartphone we are covering android here and a youtube channel that's it so let's learn how to do that camera file live is the name of the app by vault micro i have already installed it on my device this is the rear view you can toggle between rear or front view here i am so let's go back Let's have a quick look at settings. This is the title of the broadcast. It also provides option to list an event as public, unlisted or private. If you are doing it as a test event, choose unlist. Choose whether you want to do a HDD recording or a 480p. And then it also provides an option for a 360 degree live stream, which is good. Let's go back. Here we are. While talking to your audience, you may draw something on the screen using this pencil icon and have a look how this appears and you may also delete it. So we are almost ready. If you want to change the title or make it public or private, you can still make that change and create. It's connecting to YouTube. Before going live, Camera Fi also provides option to share the event details on Facebook or social media. So let's go. It's preparing will take about 20 to 30 seconds. 
So event has already started and we are live. One or two cool things about this app is you can also view the chat comments on the live screen or hide it. Let's have a quick look at how this looks at the live streaming on desktop. To reach live stream settings, go to creator studio, live stream and then you can see the stream under events. Here it is. This is what we are streaming right now. This is the place from where moderator can put in comments or reply to what others are writing. You can also go into live control room. Check out the stream health which is currently good or have a look at the analytics number of people watching the stream. And this is the watch page. If you want to share this, anyone can copy this and share the details. Let's go back. While recording the event, if you scroll towards right, you can add a video or scroll towards right, you can add an image and text which are pro features. Stop the broadcast. Okay. This is now saved on the YouTube. Before you start stream, it's a good idea to know whether you should stream at 480p or 720p for which you can download this app speedtest.net or have a look at on your desktop. If your upload speed is between 2 to 4 Mbps, it's good to go for 480p and if it's above 4 Mbps, then you can go for HD broadcast which is 720p. So my upload is about 20 Mbps, so I am quite safe doing a 720p. So that's why I chose 720p. I love thumbs up, comments, sharing, what else I have forgotten. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done that so far and thanks for your support.